Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial series where we're making a car that drives by itself. In the last episode we created the game window, we showed the track, and we also added our small car to the track which we could move forward using our up arrow key. In this video we're going to take care of the steering mechanic which allows us to turn left and right depending on what arrow key we press. So continuing from where we left off in the last video, we're going to go to the init method of the car class, and in the init method we're going to add a variable called rotational velocity and set it equal to 5. In addition to that we're also going to add a variable called direction and set it equal to 0. This variable is going to be set equal to minus 1 whenever we turn left, and equal to 1 whenever we turn right. When we're turning neither left or right, the value is going to be 0. Then we're going to jump down to the rotation function and add a few if statements. We're going to say that if self.direction is equal to 1, then we want to decrement the angle of the car, making it rotate clockwise, in other words, to the right. In addition to changing the angle of the car's image, we also need to change the velocity vector. And that is exactly what we do with the rotate in place function, which takes as an argument the rotational velocity. Now that we've taken care of the rotation to the right, we also need to do the same to the left hand side, and it works analogously. And the last thing we need to do here is we need to get the rectangle of the car image. Now in the part of the main loop where we handle the user input, we need to make one change, which is we need to set the value of the variable direction equal to zero when no arrow keys are pressed. The last thing we need to do is we need to handle the user inputs for the steering. We're going to say that if the user inputs the right key, we're going to change the value of the variable direction to one. Similarly, if the user inputs the left key, then we are going to change the value of the variable direction to minus one. All right, so these are all the changes that we need to make in order to add the steering mechanic to our game. We can now go ahead and check out the result by pressing the run button, and you'll see that if we run it, we have the car on the track, and we can now freely move the car all around the track when we press the arrow keys. It moves around really smoothly. In the next part of this series, we're going to add the radars to the car that are going to measure the distance that the car has to the edge of the track. 